overflows. Acceptance brings you in the middle. Acceptance is the middle path. With, ex with acceptance, you move from the extreme to the middle path. There is a vast difference between consequence and result. A result is consciously desired. On the contrary, consequence is byproduct of total involvement. Consequence means that if you are really in the play, happiness will happen. If you constantly think about happiness, then it is going to be a result and it never, it will never happen. A result is a conscious effort while consequence is just a byproduct. If you are deep in play, you will be happy. But the very expectation, the conscious longing for happiness will not allow you to be deep in play. The longing for the result will become the barrier and you will not be happy. Happiness is not a result, instead a consequence. If I tell you that if you love, you will be happy. Happiness will be a consequence, not a result. If you think that because you want to be happy, you love, nothing will come out of you. Nothing will come out of it. If you think that because you want to be happy, you must love, nothing will come out of it. The whole thing will be bogus because one cannot love for any result. Love happens and when, when it happens, when it blossoms, many things happen in and around you. There is no motivation behind love. You cannot explain why you love this person, why lo you love him so dearly. If there is a motivation, it is not love. It may be anything else. If I am not, mo if I am motivated and I think that because I long for happiness, I will love you, this love will be false. And because it will be false, happiness will not result out of it. It will not come. It is impossible. But if I love you, without any motivation, without any reason, just I love you because I love you. Love is my nature. To love you is a joy for me. Then happiness will follow like a shadow. Tantra says acceptance will be followed by transformation. But you will not make acceptance a technique for transformation. It is acceptance is spontaneous and natural. You cannot make acceptance a technique for transformation. It is not. Do not long for transformation. Only then transformation happens. If you desire it, your very desire is the obstruction, hindrance. Then there will be no question of what indulgence is and what repression is. The question comes to the mind only because you are not ready to accept the whole. Accept it. Let it be indulgence and accept it. 
if you accept it, you will be thrown in the middle because acceptance is one X, because indulgence is one extreme and repression is another extreme. If you accept indulgence totally, you will be thrown to the middle or let it be repression and accept it. If there is total acceptance, you will be thrown to the middle, whatever path you choose, indulgence or repression. Through acceptance, you cannot remain with the extreme. Extreme means denial of something. Acceptance, accepting something and denying something. Extreme means being for something and against for something else. The moment you accept whatsoever is the case, you will be thrown to the middle immediately. You will not remain in the extreme. So forget any intellectual understanding of what repression is or what indulgence is. Whatsoever appeals to you, go in, accept it and go into it totally. It is all nonsense and it will not lead you anywhere, the intellectual understanding. Just accept where you are. If you are in indulgence, accept it. Why be afraid of it? But there is a problem. If you are in indulgence, you can remain in indulgence only if you are simultaneously trying to transcend. The problem is, if you are in indulgence, and you can remain in indulgence only if you are simultaneously trying to transcend it. Do not trans try anything. That gives a good feeling to the ego that I am at the moment in indulging in this, but I want to come out of it. And you will, you can feel good and you can postpone. You know this is not going to be forever. You feel today I am indulgent, but tomorrow I'll be beyond it. Forget about it. You are into it. Go totally into it. Forget about transcending or leaving or anything. The tomorrow helps you to be in indulgence today. You know that today I am drinking alcohol or smoking, but this is not going to be for all my life. I know it is bad and tomorrow I am going to leave it. The moment you indulge in anything with this feeling, it will not help. That hope for tomorrow helps you to indulge today and that is a good trick. Those who wants to indulge, they must have great ideals. Those ideals give you the opportunity. Then you need not feel any guilty about whatsoever you are doing because in future everything is going to be okay. This is just for a moment and this is the trick of the mind. You are involved in sex, you are in drinking, smoking and you want to leave it tomorrow, a trick of the mind works. So those who indulge, they always talk about non-indulgence. Those who indulge, they go to the masters who are against it and you can see a deep relationship. If you are after riches, money, power, you will always worship someone who is against riches, the ascetic. 
one who has renounced will be your ideal. A rich society can worship and respect only those who have renounced riches. Look around and you will see it. If you are indulging in sex, you must respect a person who has gone beyond it, who has become a celibate. You will worship him. He is the ideal. He is your future. You are thinking that someday you are going to be like this man. You worship him. And if one day some rumor comes to you that he is indulging in sex, the respect will be gone. Because you cannot respect yourself, you are so self-condemning of whatsoever you are, that if you find that your master is just like you, the respect is gone. You respect him because he is different than you. He must be just the opposite. Then he gives you hope. Then he can lead you to the opposite. Then you can follow him. So there is always a very deep relationship between the followers and the master. You will always see them on the opposite pole. The follower will be just on the opposite pole and he is a follower only because of this. If you are obsessed with food, then you can respect only a person who has, who goes for a long fasting. He is a miracle for you. You hope someday to attain the same. He is your future. You can worship him and respect him. He is the image. But this image helps you to be whatsoever you are. It is not going to change you. The very effort to change, the very idea to change, becomes an hindrance. This is the insight of Tantra. So Tantra says, whatsoever you are, accept it. Do not create any ideal. All ideals are dreams and false. Accept whatsoever is. Do not call it good or bad. Do not try to justify or rationalize it. Live in the moment and see that this is the case. Remain with the fact and accept it. It is diffi difficult, very difficult and arduous. Why it is difficult? Because then your ego is shattered. Then you know that you are a sexual animal. Then the high ideals of celibacy cannot help your ego at all. Then you know that you are 99% an animal and that 1% I leave you just not to shock you very much. Enough for now.